It's almost 10. You gotta go to work and I gotta vacuum in here. And don't for... Another one who wears vanilla perfume. Don't you know any women who don't want to smell like candy? Babe, what am I, a little pig? I mean, I don't have time to make you no onion bagel, so please do not start to beg, okay? And just for the record, I don't like finding these things in your sofa. What kind of woman wears underwear like this? Well, babe is gonna put it in the trash compactor where it belongs, so your mother should excuse me. <sighs> you ever consider dating a woman who wears real underwear? You know, the kind that covers the entire bottom the way it's supposed to. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean the kitchen. Okay, all right. But only because you didn't call me that little pig link. Mr. Marshall, how you doing today? I got that cab for you. <whistles> you have an excellent day, sir. Hey, Winnie, of course. Sorry, no echinacea. Hi, Nick. Red? Or lavender. Oh, what the hell has he done now? I hope he's not dead. Are you sure? <laughs> now I gotta clean up bras and home pregnancy tests? The man doesn't pay me enough for the things I have to do. Oh, Jesus, he's wearing pantyhose? Now he's a cross-dresser? Did I say anything? One day I'd like to sleep till 8 o'clock. He'd fire my ass if I wasn't here to wake him. Same as every other day. Honey, make me a little bagel with cream cheese. You know I can't think on an empty stomach. Who said you were? Mr. Marshall, let me get you a cab, sir. You're welcome, my little sweet ass. Me? Nothing. Yes, sir. Do you have a great day, sir. Put your fine ass looking like Shaft. Oh, I can just ride that puppy. <laughs> you OK, sir? Do I get a free gift with this? OK, I write that down. I'm either interesting or I'm not. <laughs> He'll shit a brick. <laughs> hmm, what if he says I'm not? I could show the world how to smile. I could be they hit a home run. Where do we sign? I love it. You shouldn't be standing. <laughs> Came in by cab. Please go to seven. Body signs of stable. Respiratory is on its way. Fifteen minutes of chest pains. Hospitalized a week ago with an MI. All right, hang on, I drip. You have been to this before. Let's run a 12 lead EKG. All right, you having chest pain right now? That's good. Not like before is what we like to hear. Okay, give him an aspirin and let's run a blood gas. Mr. Sanborn, what were you doing at the onset of the pain? <laughs> Are you kidding? Love hurts, haven't you heard? Well, you've been lucky. All right, your EKG looks perfectly normal. And your heart rate's good. The kind of pain you describe is not the kind of pain that we generally worry about. I think what you experienced was hyperventilation brought on by stress. Mm -hmm. And in case you haven't heard, stress can give you a heart attack. Mr. Sanborn, I have no idea what you're up to gallivanting out and about at this hour, one week after having a heart attack. But if you were my dad, I would have you home, in bed, recuperating. Oh, hey, this is Mr. Sanborn, back so soon. Mr. Sanborn, your diagnosis, although fascinating, was entirely incorrect. Do you realize that a severe anxiety attack and masquerade is a heart attack? If you don't want to end up here every week, I suggest you do whatever it takes to decompress. Now lie down. Just try something with me, come on. Man. Relax, relax. All right, close your eyes. Okay, good. I want you to give yourself a visual, both eyes. I want you to give yourself a visual image of something that gives you a feeling of peace and serenity. Good. What else? What else do you see, feel, taste? What's it worth? All right. Hey. Are you ready? Very well, Mum. You're good to go. Good morning. Oh, yeah, long time now. Hi, Iris. I screwed up. Miles, haven't you ever screwed up? I made a mistake. I was stupid and impulsive. He wasn't what I thought. And I just, I started thinking about you and wishing and hoping that you would just forgive me. Will you, Miles? Will you forgive me? I'll take you up, Mr. Abbott. Yeah? Too much sugar. Hi. The table is almost ready, Mrs. Adler. Would you like to wait on the bar? Yes. Mrs. Adler, yes. your table is ready. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Something to your hair? Something about you looks different. A little more caliente. Do you see it, Eddie? Whatever it is, it's working. Jacob Adler. Okay. You know the drill. You can have your things in the closet, the remote's on the dresser, and the materials are in the drawer. Please deposit your specimen in the cup, and I'll see you when you're done. Don't you just love it when a song raises you up, makes you think you can do anything, when all you have to do is hear it, and you're motivated, you're inspired? <laughs> Don't stop believing.
Good news, I found a size eight in Navy. Hello. Hey Ben, how's it going? Excellent, take a seat around the corner and someone from talent acquisition will come get you. Thank you. Truthfully, Jules, it's pretty impossible to hack into a server. Ladies and gentlemen, a smoke alarm went off in one of the rooms, but the problem has been taken care of. Our sincere